What we really need to talk about right now is this record-breaking heat wave going on in China. June 2022 was the beginning of the severe heat wave hit in China. And since then, it's done nothing but get worse. And so far, this heat wave has affected several regions in China. As of August, the heat wave is still going strong, shattering record-breaking numbers throughout the entire month. And on top of that, according to the CMA, the China Meteorological Administration, this is the worst heat wave for China in history. And it's only getting worse. As a result of the drought, farmers in China are suffering drastically. Damaged crops, wilted crops, unhealthy crops. There's so much lost food over the past two months. This record-breaking drought is completely ruining the farm life, and I don't know how much longer China can afford this. And it's all across the country. It's so bad. And then to top that off, another result of the drought is the Yangtze River drying up. If you don't know, the Yangtze River is the third largest river in the world and the largest river in Asia. Also, the largest in the world to flow completely through one country at 3,915 miles. So if that doesn't let you know how serious this drought is, then nothing will. No matter if you think global warming is real or not, the planet is heating up and we can't deny those facts. But this was the Yangtze River pre-drought. That's when a river is dependent on and as great as the Yangtze River starts to dry up, water shortages happen and things start to get crazy. Similar to other bodies of water when things start to dry up, the truth starts to come out. Over the past year, there's been a lot going on with China. From the prehistoric intact forest found in the giant Senko in southern China. Even yesterday with the giant rainbow cloud going viral, it was found in China. You have a trio of ancient Buddhist statues that was found under the Yangtze River. With that world-breaking drought happening in China, it reveals some history. And y'all see how big that river is, right? So just imagine what we could find in all these oceans. Like I always say, they say we discover 5% of the ocean, but the truth is that our history is beneath. We could talk about that another time. Let's get back to China. Like seen in the photo behind me, people have resorted to using umbrellas for shade, case for shade, case for cooling off. Entire restaurants have even moved their organizations into caving systems and World War II shelters to avoid the heat. Yes, it's that high. I agree with it 100% and it's been going on for two months now, continuously. There's even been viral videos of people's sandals and shoes getting stuck to the pavement as they walk. One thing for sure, it's been real scary over the past year watching all these global events happen. Whether it's a natural disaster or a virus or violence, people are saying that we're getting close to the end. The end times. But we all know that we don't know the time. So until then, everybody just stay blessed. Live your life and keep your vibrations high and prayers up to China. Prayers out to everyone in the world being affected by these global issues. I know. Let me know what y'all think in the comments.